Hello everyone, this is Chris Cresents. It's about 4 p.m. on Saturday, May 25th, 2024. And we're doing a, a walking video at the lakefront in downtown Chicago. Temperature is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Very, very low humidity. A little bit windy. As you can see, there is a lot of people here at the lakefront. It's summertime already. It's Memorial Day weekend. And you see people on bicycles, people walking, people are jogging. And then on the left side of the screen is Lake Michigan. And you see this big skyline over there. That's the John John Hawkins Center over there. And we're currently walking uh, walking south on the lakefront uh, trail. Beautiful, beautiful day to be outside and do a walking video in downtown Chicago. So we're going to start the video at the lakefront. You can see on the right, that's the Gold Coast, the near north side of Chicago. And then straight ahead, we're going to be arriving shortly in Streetyville. Again, the lake is on the left. And you're going to see a lot of people also uh, playing sports here, like volleyball, beach volleyball. To be exact, I'm going to show it to you. And I can see it from here. They're on the Oak Street Beach playing uh, playing volleyball. It's beautiful, beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit windy. Hopefully, you can hear me. Yeah, if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel just click subscribe underneath this video or go to youtube.com slash chris presents presents and subscribe there and i'm walking against the wind right now i can hear the wind myself so hopefully it's not as disruptive on the in the video i'm gonna try not to talk too much and by the way, on the right, that's Lakeshore Drive to Sabo Lakeshore Drive. There's a lot of traffic in there as well. And you see the high rises of, of the Gulf Coast, I was just telling you. And I'm at the right lane, ladies and gentlemen, for pedestrians walking south. You see, you got pedestrians walking the other way. And then you got two lanes on my right, one coming towards me, one going the other way for, for bicycles. So I shouldn't be having any issues with the traffic here I'm at the right lane <laughs> walking south and then you see the the beautiful high rises over there there's people jogging people on bicycles walking actually there is a there are people swimming as well and they got the, uh, the green flags, which means uh, it's okay to swim. They have lifeguards. I guess the official swimming summer season has begun. I'm also taking pictures at the same time I'm doing the video. Now it's getting real windy, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you can hear me. And then look at all those people getting a suntan here at the, at the lakefront. Beautiful, beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. It's summer already here in Chicago. A windy city, a little bit windy. Lots of people on bicycles. This lake for lake from uh, trail you see here with the bicycles. 
if I'm not mistaken, it's 26 miles long. You can actually go in three different states with this bicycle or walking. You can go to Indiana, Illinois, and, and probably more, more states. All right, we are approaching Oak Street Beach now. I want to show you the people play volleyball there. Beach volleyball. There's tons and tons of people. I, I think the water is still cold for people to swim, but there are people swimming. But outside of the water here is real nice, comfortable. 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little bit uh, cooler by the lake where, where I am now. But there is no... Uh, No humidity, but oh, if there is a very low humidity, and it's the John Hawkins Center again, right over there. I want to take another picture. All right, going straight. A little bit less windy over here. Hopefully, you can hear me now. All right, we are approaching Oak Street Beach. I'm going to show you the people sitting down, enjoying themselves. You probably have at least a hundred thousand people here at the lakefront, not exactly in this location, but all along the lakefront, maybe more. And they have also summer concerts. They have the Suenia uh, Music Festival, which is like the Lala Palooza of, of Hispanic music, which is further and further south from here. This is Oxford Beach right over here. Look how many people, ladies and gentlemen, are in there playing baseball. I mean, uh, correction, playing uh, uh, volleyball. Who knows? They may be playing baseball too. But look how beautiful the skyline is. All right. Oh my God, look how many people are. This is the famous. Oak Street Beach. I'm gonna turn the camera on the left just just a second. There's just a lot of people in front of me. I'll show you how how beautiful this area is. We're in Streetville. This is the area where I I live and work. And people are playing not just football, but they are playing football. These people are playing football, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, we're playing football. American football. And then there's people playing volleyball over there. Let's just keep walking. Look how many people are here. It feels like I'm in Cyprus. That's my country of origin, which is, I mean, they don't play volleyball like this, but there are sandy beaches. And, and keep in mind, this is a lake. This is not even the ocean. All right, we just keep going. It's going to be a little bit windy. As you can see, there's a lot of people. So i give you a little glimpse of the lake right now. I'm going to walk, actually, on the street now. Let's go down the... This is Oak Street Beach, like I was telling you, and now we're going to take the Oak Street Beach uh, underpass. Go down, and then we're going to come out at the... Uh, we're going to come out on Michigan Avenue. And then I want you to see how many people are on Michigan Avenue. There's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people today out here. You saw how many are at the lakefront. And I only show you, I only show you a small fraction of the lake front. Now I'm going to show you the street, the streets of Chicago, downtown Chicago, including Streetville, because we're in Streetville at the moment. And this is the Oak Street underpass that is going to take us up to uh, Lakeshore Drive and uh, Michigan Avenue. Look how many people are. 
coming to the lakefront towards me and how many people are going away from the lakefront. It's about equally, equally divided. We're on Michigan Avenue on Lecture Drive. Let's go show you the high rises. And you got here helicopters above me. And you're gonna see a lot of uh, police presence as well to make sure all these people on the street are safe. And we may or may not run into uh, two demonstrations keep in mind there is three three regional wars going on all around the world especially in the Middle East and Saturday is a good day they pick two protests either for or against uh, each other Now everybody's in a hurry here. We we'll have to stay in line and cross the street. All right, we got the green light. This is the busiest and most famous uh, street in Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Michigan Avenue. It's North Michigan Avenue. Look how many people are on the street. And we're just gonna walk south of Michigan Avenue. <laughs> Try to stay a little bit to the right towards the, the street so I don't want to bump into the crowd here. And I'm going to show you the, the high rises here. All right. All right. And then we're going to go over here. And this is the Bloomingdale's 900 North Michigan Avenue, 151 bus, 146 bus. And I'm going to show you the 900 North Michigan Avenue right here. And then we'll go straight. We're on. Uh, we're walking north of Michigan Avenue, we're walking south of Michigan Avenue, from North Michigan Avenue and Walter Place. Cars with music. Lots of traffic, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of people walking, driving, just like the lakefront, except here instead of bicycles, you see cars. And look how beautiful the, the skyline is. Look at that. Taking pictures. And we're on the corner now of Michigan Avenue and Delaware, Delaware Place. And then I'm going to show you the John Hopkins Center. It's about 1,127 feet. That's the fifth, the fifth tallest building in Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. It's not even the first one. Right there. Now we go straight. I don't have to wait for the light. Actually, we can just cross. Nobody's coming. And we're walking south of oh, Michigan Avenue. So 
a little bit less windy here so you should be able to hear me okay it's not as windy as the lakefront but having said that some portions of downtown are windier than others I guess is the way they they build the the way they build the structures okay and this is Chestnut Street we're in, in Street of Chestnut Street and uh, Michigan Avenue again this is the neighborhood where I live and work always uh, full of people you got the green light so they just cross Try to go on the other side. Police car. So let's just cross. Crossing with a thousand people. Alright, I want to go on the other side of the street. We don't, we don't want to get hit by a car. So let's just go this way. It's getting windy again. Alright, we are we are approaching uh, Pierce Street, Pierce Street and Michigan Avenue and it's getting windy again. This is a good camera though, it takes care of the wind, not 100% but it works, at least the footage is good. Again, it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit on Saturday, May 25th, 2024. It's 4.19 p.m. at the moment. All right, let's just cross the street. That's Pearson Street. Pearson Street and uh, Michigan Avenue. small sidewalk we wait for the people to cross before we go over there and this is the water tower place the old water tower place one of the two uh, buildings that survived the great Chicago fire of 1871 in this area the other one is across the street right there it's still called water tower Let's see. And look at this. This is Chicago Avenue and Michigan Avenue, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful picture this is. Everybody's in a hurry. I don't know where they're going, but they are blowing, blowing their horns. This is Chicago Avenue and Michigan Avenue. A nice trolley here. We've got the green lights, so we're gonna go straight. Lots and lots of people. This is Michigan Avenue traffic. Very, very busy, very crowded street. Not just cars, but pedestrians too. This is the number one famous city in Chicago. Uh, I mean, a street in Chicago. It's called Michigan Avenue. And it's the Allerton Hotel right over there, one of the old landmark hotels. Downtown Chicago and Streetville in particular has lots and lots of hotels I don't want to put a number on it but a lot lots of them more than I'll say more than 20 
it could be even more. So this is uh, Superior Street and Michigan Avenue. We got the green light. Let's just go straight. Yeah, the next street is Huron Street. This is the Avenue Hotel. This is Huron and Michigan Avenue. We got the green, the red light, so we're gonna have to wait a few minutes. Beautiful day to be outside, ladies and gentlemen, and do a walking video in downtown Chicago. We started from the lakefront, and now we're on uh, Michigan Avenue. Green light, let's just cross. Look at this beautiful trees of Michigan Avenue, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at how beautiful the trees are and how tall they are. I try to stay away from the crowds. You can still see the crowds in the picture, but I want to stay on the left. So you can see both the crowds and, uh, and the vehicles. And next street is Erie, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to show you in just a second the largest Starbucks in the world. It's called Starbucks Reserve Roastery, right? The building right over there. It's about five uh, five stories tall. You can see actually the people inside. That's the tallest, that's the largest Starbucks in the world, right over there. It's on the corner of Erie and Michigan Avenue in downtown Chicago. Got the green light, so let's just cross carefully. We go, we go this way. Looks like the traffic is at a standstill here. Standstill. Look like I'm walking faster than the cars. <laughs> Look how, bad, look how bad the traffic is. Look at that. Good thing everybody's patient. Nobody's blowing the horns anymore. They're all waiting uh, to make a turn or go straight. So we're going... Uh, we're going south of Michigan Avenue. And now this is... Uh, Ontario Street, there's the name of the street, Ontario Street. And it used to be the AT&T store there, but unfortunately they, they left town, they closed. So 
this is Ontario Street. We're waiting for the green light. Waiting for the green light. All right, we got the green light just cross and go straight. And look how many people are on the other side of the street. Not just on this side, or it's pretty crowded on both sides. Look at that. What a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's in the upper 70s to be exact, but it's a little bit warmer here than the lakefront. The lakefront was probably 75, 76 Fahrenheit, but over here it's probably, probably 80. But it has this nice, uh, I, I wouldn't say cold, this nice cool breeze. And, and practically there is no there's no humidity or very low I don't feel anything and this is East Ohio Street there is the name of the street East Ohio Street and Michigan Avenue and another busy intersection here it's getting more crowded and crowded and then I want to show you the, the building some music coming behind me hopefully it won't be any issue with the copyrights a lot of times there's music coming out of cars, vehicles, bicycles and then it interferes, YouTube flags the video because it recognizes the song and then the good thing, it gives me the option to mute the segment or delete it or replace it with another piece of music. In this case it was only a few seconds, if that happens I'll just mute the, the segment. Now, now they start blowing their horns. <laughs> I'm taking pictures and videos at the same time ladies and gentlemen so bear with me and uh, what I do with the pictures I post them on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Facebook, uh, Twitter, X actually the former already known as Twitter and then what I do with the uh, pictures on Twitter I mean on uh, on TikTok I convert them into into videos so I have a picture or two, and then I'll, I'll add uh, I'll add music in the background. That way, it will be it will be more uh, more uh, more interesting. And over there is the Intercontinental Hotel, another landmark hotel here in Streeterville, and that's the Chicago Tribune Tower right next to it. All right, let's keep going straight. I'm going south on uh, on Michigan Avenue. And you can see all the stores here, like this one, Hugo Boss. Now it's getting windy again. And in a few minutes, I'm going to show you the the Chicago River. Beautiful, spectacular view of the, of the Chicago River and the skyline. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going straight. got some music hopefully it won't interfere with the uh, copyright so if I speak a little bit uh, loud and over override the music it usually takes care of that problem and uh, again if you <laughs> you're gonna hear a lot of music coming from the street whether it's live or uh, recorded or, or coming out of uh, people's 
bicycles, motorcycles, and it kind of interferes with the video, but so far I think we're okay. Now we got some, you got two cars here, they're both having music, so probably YouTube will get confused. All right, we're gonna go straight. Try to go straight, there is a kind of a show going on here. Right next to the ambulance, they're doing the show. So let's see if we can get out of here fast. Because this music is blasting. This music is blasting big time. I'll go down this way. I'm going to stay away from that music. Because it's, uh, it's going to be Luminaris Pizzeria this way, that way. All right. So now I'm going to show you the the view of the, the Chicago River from the Michigan Avenue uh, Bridge. And a lot of people come here to take pictures, like wedding pictures. So you may see people taking pictures wearing like gowns, like they got married or stuff. Now we got somebody playing the violin. So let me get <laughs> ah, here. It is. You see. You see the. People getting married, taking pictures, or they could be, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a bride right over there. There's another one. There's two of them, ladies and gentlemen. So let me show you the the river here. Well, I'm gonna go further down because it's too crowded over here. And bear with me because it's very, very, very windy right now. So this is the Michigan Avenue Bridge. I'm just gonna show you a little bit the, the river here, and then we just keep going because it's too crowded. Let's see if we can get a good spot. There it is, right here. Look at this. Look how beautiful this picture is. Yeah. And you got a tour board right over there. So let's just go straight. There's music coming from everywhere. And, and over there, you see the people walking downstairs. That's the, the, the river walk. See? People are walking across the river, right next to the river. And the city made this uh, nice river walk, walkway, pathway, just like the lakefront. But it goes, you know, it has restaurants, bars. Then you got another boat coming. Look at this. And, and being on that boat, they're probably getting a wonderful view as well of the, the bridge here. This is the Michigan Avenue Bridge. So they just go straight. Let's go straight. Try to cut through the crowd here. So this is the Michigan Avenue Bridge. Very, very crowded. All right, let's go straight. Now we hear more, more music now. We're just waiting for the, oh, this music is real light over here. Let's try to get away from uh, this very famous songs. They're gonna cause a, uh, <laughs> I got a cause a problem with the copyright, so they just keep walking this way. Try to stay away from the, from the music. So we're gonna stay on uh, we're gonna stay on Michigan Avenue. Hopefully the music won't start again. It just stopped. And, uh, spoke too soon. I gotta get out of here fast so I can beat the music, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting for the, the two different songs playing at the same time, so you won't even uh, YouTube won't be able to figure out which one is which one. All right, we got the green light. Let's just keep it just cross. And this is Michigan and uh, East Walker Drive. That's the London House right over here, right above us. All right, more music from over there. 
and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go straight straight on uh, I think the people you just saw celebrating the coming from that concert I was telling you the, the Hispanic Lollapalooza Sueña Sueña Sueño something like that I could tell because they're wearing uh, they're wearing wristbands so they'll be able to go back inside again this is like an all day all weekend affair just like Lollapalooza so you may see but they're not over here they're in Grand Park in the same area where uh, Lollapalooza takes place in August so let's see how far south we're gonna go on Michigan Avenue and this video is gonna be at least uh, one hour long my uh, my walking in downtown Chicago videos are many more an hour on maximum three hours and now we're approaching uh, Walker place We got the green light. Hopefully, it won't turn red by the time we get over there. All right, just keep walking south on Michigan Avenue. We got the green light. So this is East Walker Place, 300, 300 North Michigan Avenue, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go straight. So the next uh, intersection is Lake Street. Hopefully you can hear me. There is tons and tons of cars with music on this corner here. And then we're gonna go. Uh, we're going. Uh, we're going. We're going straight. It's hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that music out, ladies and gentlemen. If you can hear it, you can, if you can make up what the songs are. YouTube can as well, and then it will flock my video and mute it. But hopefully, hopefully it won't be an issue, but we'll see. So now we're approaching Lake Street, Lake and Michigan Avenue. Very, very, very busy Michigan Avenue today. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure we don't get hit by this car. We're gonna try to cross. We got the green light. And then we're going. Uh, we're going. Uh, we're going straight. Five guys, five guys, no fries. Now I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> this is 168 North Michigan Avenue. And we're walking uh, south. And now we're approaching Randolph Street. Randolph, Randolph of Michigan. And then in just a second, you're gonna see the, the Chicago Cultural Center. It used to be the, it used to be the old Chicago Library. And then they moved in the 80s to 400 South State. Now it's the Chicago Cultural Center. See how beautiful the structure is. Look at this architecture. This is Randolph. Let's get a better, better close up here. Okay, we're gonna cross the street. We got the light. And then you see the L over there coming. So I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna stay on Michigan Avenue. And then you can see the people are they're gonna be performing, street performer. I haven't seen my friends in a long time, the ones that are usually on the street. I 
think the last time I filmed someone performing on the street that I know was maybe a couple of years ago. I don't remember now. I have to go back and look. But uh, you can so go to my YouTube channel and search for music street performances. I, I probably have at least 100 videos. They are in the music uh, playlist of the channel. The, the channel the channel has more than 8,000 uh, subscribers and more than 200 and 2,600 videos. And I have 13 playlists. Divide the, the channel, the videos by playlists, by sections. And then one of them is music. I think I have over 400 videos there. And you can go and see live street performances, not just from uh, Chicago and perform all around the world that I that I filmed. And obviously this video you're looking at now, it's gonna be in the Chicago playlist. And you can hear, if you can hear, there is like music coming from everywhere. All the cars here, they're all playing music. So this is the I think this is uh, it's either Washington or Madison. All right, we got the green light. Let's go straight. Even the sidewalks are are packed, not just the streets. And then they got this outdoor outdoor restaurants, cafes here. Nobody's sitting outdoors yet. It's a little bit cool. <laughs> and then right on the other side, that's Millennium Millennium Park, right over there. I filmed that many, many, many times, so we're not gonna go in there and do a video. That's Millennium, uh, Millennium Park. All right, this is Monroe Street, Monroe. No, it's not Monroe, this is Madison. So the street we just came out from it was Washington. So this is Madison. And then we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go, oh, we got the green light, so let's go. Oh, this is Lamar. Very famous street musician, Lamar. Lamar Holland. Lamar Allen, ladies and gentlemen. 
very well known uh, Chicago blues street musician. I'm gonna make uh, a separate video just to highlight that piece. He, he's, he's playing, he improvises a lot. And he, uh, he he's playing like three, four instruments at the same time and he's also singing. It's like you're listening to a band. Alright, we're on uh, Michigan Avenue now, walking, uh, walking south, and we're approaching uh, Monroe Street. There is a nice store here by Chicago. Please, and there's another one, he says, by, by Chicago. <laughs> by Grohl. A lot of interesting uh, stores here. All right, let's go straight. And this is Monroe, Monroe Street, Monroe and Michigan Avenue. It was so nice to see Lamar Allen. I'm gonna make a separate clip just to show him perform here. So this is Monroe and Michigan. And then you can see the Chicago Art Institute right on the, on the corner there on the other side of the street. Just waiting for the light. Okay, we got the green light, so let's just cross. All right. So this is uh, the Chicago Art Institute right over there. Nice, another outdoor cafe here. Sugary Chicago. I'm sure it's gonna get crowded pretty soon. It's a little bit early, it's not even 5 p.m. yet. And it's, it gets dark at 8.15 now. Again, it's uh, Saturday, May 25th, 2024. And the time is 4.49 p.m. And that's the Chicago Art Institute right over there. Number six bus. And the next street we see is Adams, Adams Street. <laughs> so this is Adams and Michigan Avenue. Look at the, look at the Chicago Art Institute. Look how nice this picture is. It's a little bit dark here, but it's sunny and shining. It's like on the spotlight, the, the, the museum there. I'm gonna take another picture. Look at that. All right. Let's see if we can make the light. I have to run. Five, four, three, two, one. I just made it. Good thing nobody's coming. I hear more music now. It may be the music from the festival that I was telling you. It may be not. So we're uh, on Michigan Avenue, about 200 South Michigan Avenue. This is the building, the 200 South Michigan Avenue. <laughs> I was wondering what the exact street was. And I turn around and I see the I see the street others on the building. And this is the Symphony Center. More people playing music here. Now you can hear the swing music that I was telling you from across the street. 
because they uh, it's in Grand Park it just goes straight somebody's playing the saxophone here all right this is gonna be a problem because there's recorded music in the background so I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to uh, to move out of here fast and I want to keep talking so it doesn't uh, interfere music more. It's, it's sad ladies and gentlemen the music is so good but I have to speak loud over the music and run quickly so it doesn't get flagged by YouTube and give me a copyright issue and it doesn't mute my video so this is Jackson Street Ah, let's go this way. Oh, I know that guy. Now, this guy here is called Lefty. He's a famous uh, blues musician. He's called Lefty, nicknamed Lefty, because he plays the guitar with the left. There he is, right here. And he, uh, he's from the old musicians, blues musicians on, on Maxwell Street. Alright, I'm not going to go any more further south of Michigan Avenue because there's a lot, a lot of music there from that music festival that I was telling you, especially with Spanish music, you have to be very careful because all the Spanish music you hear recorded or live it's all copyright and if you don't have permission to use it even even unintentionally that if it's in the background of the video the music companies will get you in trouble on YouTube so we're gonna go the other way we're gonna go back to this light and go uh, go uh, Go west on uh, West on Adams, and you got another bride here. Then you got the police flying behind me, or ambulance. Actually, we can't cross from here. It's another bride here. Maybe it's not a bride. Maybe it's just a prom. So let's like. Let's try to cross the street. We only got 15 seconds left. And this is Adam Street. We're walking west on Adam Street. At some top point we're gonna turn back and go back to Streetville. So this video is at least an hour long. I'll say at least an hour and a half hour long. Because that's how long it would take us to go back, at least another 30 minutes or more. And I wouldn't be surprised if we reach the two hour two hour minute mark. Two hour video. And that's the train right over there. You can't see it because it's covered. So we're at 50, I believe 50 West Adams. Let's try to go on, uh, let's try to go on State Street. And then these are the buses that come here. 126, 151. It tells you how long it will take for them to get here. Actually, let's go this way. Maybe we can see some of the trains. This is Wabash Avenue, see, there's a train, there's a train right over there, and that's the Trump Tower right over there in the background, it's the second tallest 
second tallest building in Chicago. It's 1,388 feet. It's not the first, it's the second. The first one is the Sears Willis Tower. So we're currently on Wabash Avenue, walking north. And we're heading back uh, home towards Streetyville. So we may be filming for another another hour or so. And we're approaching the one hour minute mark. See there are any more trains coming. Hopefully we get lucky to see more more trains and uh, that's the Trump Tower again in the background all the way that's where we headed that direction and then you see the L tracks here and believe it or not this this uh, this L tracks here they've been here since the 1800s look how massive the <laughs> the, the structure is big enough to hold some real real heavy equipment you don't see any trains on it now at the moment but keep in mind the trains are very heavy and it's amazing how they built this thing in the 1800s late 1800s taking a picture so we're on uh, Wabash Avenue, walking east. And this is the Jewelers Row. It's called Jewelers Row because they have all the jeweler stores. I'm going to show you to you. you. See the sign here? It says Jewelers Row. And then all the stores on my right are jewelry stores. We may, we may have passed a few. Oh, we may see some more as well. There's the train. And this is the jewelry stores that I was telling you. One of them is called Jewelry Center. And there's another one here, Custom Design Jewelry Repair. And you can see there. Actually, they took all the jewelry out. They must be closed. <laughs> so nobody was still one. All right, we're going straight. And we're on Wabash Avenue, I believe. Waiting for the light. More, more jewelry stores further down. That's, called, that's why it's called Jewelry Row. Jewelers Row. This area. We're just waiting for the green light. All right. So this is Wabash Avenue, Junior's Row. Then you see the sign over there. And there's another jewelry store here. Diamond Center. North Jewelry Mall. North Jewelry Mall. And then there's another one over there. New York Jewelers. There you go. Finally, we saw some jewelry. There's some jewelry here. Watches. More jewelry stores, worst youngest jeweler. Right on Wobash. Every time I come through here, it looks like it's under renovation. 
it's been like this under renovation for at least at least five years right before COVID and I don't know what they're renovating train over there so we got to see at least two trains coming through there's another one Beautiful sight. I like those uh, trains, the sight and the sound of the train. Who knows? We may, we may, we may get to see more trains if we're lucky. This is T-Mobile. That's the Trump Tower again, right over there. There's another train coming. Because we got lucky again. There we go. and Randolph. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Only thing you gotta do is click subscribe underneath this video. And uh, please try not to skip the ads before, during and after the video. Especially in a long video, long form video like this, more than an hour long, you're gonna see ads every five to ten minutes. Short ads, ad, short ads, correction, and uh, it helps the channel. Trust me. Alright, we're heading towards uh, Streetville. We'll probably have another, at least another uh, 30 minutes to go. So this video is going to be at least an hour and a half long. We just passed the one hour and four minute minute mark. Another train. It's okay, it went. And this is Lake Lake Street. Lake and uh, Wabash Avenue. We're getting closer and closer to the Trump Tower. This building is massive as you can see. Again, it's the second 
tallest building in Chicago after the Sears Tower, 1,388 feet. And here it is. Let me get a little bit closer. There it is right there. Some flowers here. L7 Hotels by Lotte. I'm guessing that's a hotel. I don't know why it says Plural Hotels. Maybe it's just a brand. Like a company of hotels. This is a very nice futuristic church over here. It's called the Church of Christ Scientists. The fifth, the fifth Church of Christ scientist. That's what I think it says. All right, let's just keep walking north on Wabash. So I'm going to show you now again the Trump Tower. It's give you an idea how tall the building is. Look at this. We're on Wabash and Walker Drive now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the building on the left, you see this black one here is the American Medical Association building or the old IBM building. And this is uh, the upper Walker Drive. I'll let you see the traffic while we're waiting for the light. Red light, let's cross. I'm going to show you again that beautiful view of the Chicago River and the boats. So, so far, I'm I hope you're enjoying watching this video. Again, try not to skip the ads and please subscribe to the channel. We're about 1,800 subscribers away from reaching 10,000 subscribers. I think the last time I checked it was 8,200 subscribers. There's the Chicago River. The Chicago River, there's the boats. There's a boat that says Ramos taking a picture. Look how beautiful this picture is! And then, this is the river work I was telling you. People are walking next to the river there. There's another boat coming. Called the Chicago Emerald Lady. Yeah. A lot of happy people on the boat. It's probably an architectural tour. Look how beautiful this picture is. It's the Michigan Avenue Bridge right over there, you see. That's the Brickley Building, the one with the clock. And 
then these are the twin marina towers. This is the old IBM building I was telling you. The, the headquarters of the American Medical Association. All right, let's keep walking. Uh, north on Wabash. Now we are right in front of the Trump Tower Hotel and Residences. It's just a massive, massive structure. Beautiful architecture, one of my favorite buildings in Chicago. Amazing. So it's about 5.15 p.m., almost 5.15 p.m. on Saturday, May 25th, 2024. And we're doing a, a walking video on downtown Chicago. And we're currently right in front of the Trump Tower. It's called International Hotel, International Hotel and Tower, Trump International Hotel and Tower. I forgot to mention the word international in the name. Because it's really, really international. It brings people there from all around, uh, all around the globe. All right, this is Wabash Avenue again. And we walk in north. We got some music come out of these cars here. This is gonna be a problem if I don't if I don't talk during. The... Okay, the music is going away. And, and then this one is 403. 403 North Wobash, right here. Some flowers. And then look at the residences here. Look how beautiful this structure is. All right. And uh, we're going straight. See where we're gonna go. Is it here? More of an inconvenient, might as well. pictures. All right, let's go straight. There's no strong. Department store right over there. We wait till the music goes away. Even the tricycles have music. And it's a parking lot right over here in the middle of downtown, which is interesting. Look at all the structures next to them. When you're sitting in that car, that's the view you get. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful view of, uh, of downtown Chicago. And they've got the trees there on the street. That's East Illinois Street. If you take the street down and walk all the way, uh, you're gonna go to Navy Pier. The lower part of East uh, Illinois Street, you see, goes all the way to Navy Pier, probably about a mile. All right, let's keep going now, straight. We got the music again. I'm coming out of this tricycle. Is stop at the line here. 
hopefully it will start rolling quickly. Let's wait till this way Spanish music. So we gotta uh, we gotta let it, let him go. That's uh we can't avoid it. So we go. And he's walking. He's driving super slowly. Okay, good. Past the uh, the green light. Yeah, we're trying to get away from the music. And it's coming from the street. All right, this is Grant Avenue. Grant Avenue, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're just waiting for the light. So we can go straight. This is Grand Avenue, 530 North Wabash, and we're on Wabash Avenue and Grand Avenue. All right, we got the green light, so let's just cross. This is 44 East. 44 East. Uh, Alright, let's just keep walking. We're walking north on Wabash Avenue. And then you see the building over there is it's the Medea, Medea Temple that became the temporary location of a Casino. You can see the sign there, it says Bailey's Casino. It's temporary, but it's making a lot of money and it's very big i never went inside but here's the casino right over there in balis that's what it's called balis taking a picture and then uh, we're gonna wait for the light we're on the east east ohio street east ohio street again that's the casino over there it's open 24 hours a day maybe 20 hours a day maybe I think they close from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then open from 8 a.m. to, uh, <laughs> to 4 a.m. something like that police squad cut here so this is the casino there, the Bali's casino Again, it's the Medina Temple, that's the name of the building. The Chicago landmark, I believe. And it was converted to a casino, a temporary casino. And it's gonna be temporary for probably three years. But it's already making a lot of money and giving a lot of, uh, a lot of revenue to the city with the taxes, not just the city, but the city, the state. And also they're making a lot of profit. Now we got music come out of this uh, pizzeria here, so we're gonna go straight. So we get out of the music here, and we're on East uh, Ontario Street and Wabash. And I wanted to go that way, but we're gonna go straight. So this is Ontario and Wabash. Yes. Imagine if you had time to imagine. Wake and Bakery right over there. The Escape Game, Trader Joe's. A lot of interesting, uh, and there's a pizzeria behind me, the one that has the music, but I don't hear the music anymore. It's not as loud as it was when I was in front of it. And then we're gonna go uh, north on Wabash. And this is Ontario Street. Uh, we got the green light, so this is Ontario Street right over here. Let's just go straight. So this is East Ontario Street, 620 North Wabash. <laughs> and look at the beautiful, there's a hotel castle over there, CA. It says, I'm, I'm hoping I can pronounce it correctly. All 
All right, we're going north on Wabash Street. And next street here is Erie. Erie, Erie and Wabash. Look at this beautiful structure over there. Here is Street and Wabash, and we're gonna try to cross the street. It's a fire, uh, fire truck. It's fire, uh, fire engine number three responding to a car to a fire call. Hopefully everybody's okay. Just for the record or disclaimer, I don't show you any violence or crime in progress in my videos, but I do show you, I always like to show you always the, the emergency vehicles and their sirens and everything. I, I kind of like that. You know, responding to a call, helping people, whether it's police, fire, or or medical emergencies. But if anything happens, and I and I witness it like anything in progress, I take it. Uh, I take the video off, the footage off, and give it to the authorities, and they can investigate. So this channel here, not not only not only we. We don't show you any violence or crime, but we also don't discuss any violence and crime or anything in that nature. I like this channel to be a positive channel, full of positive comments. And if somebody attacks the channel, whether me personally or the city, you will never see it because everything gets screened by me and by YouTube. And I don't allow any any negative comments to be published especially if the if people are using also foul language uh, you will never see me use the f word or any other and not any other bad word you're only gonna see me in in you're only gonna hear me talk about positive things don't get me wrong, it's a big city, it has everything here, good and bad, but I only try to show you the good things. The bad things, if you want to look at the bad things for, for this city or any other city in the world, then you have to go to a different channel. All right. So, so we're still on Wobax going north. And uh, let's stay on the street because all of a sudden there is a, a restaurant with an outdoor cafe here blocking the street, the sidewalk. So you have to come all the way around. Like Iceland. So right now we're on the corner of Wabash. Is that State Street? I mean, uh, not State Street, Chicago Avenue. I think that's Chicago Avenue. Yeah, that's Chicago Avenue. So let's just take Chicago Avenue and go home. I'm gonna make this video probably an hour and 30 minutes long. So this is Chicago, Chicago Avenue walking uh, Walking east. And then you can see all these outdoor cafes. Beautiful, beautiful Saturday to be outside and walk or do a video. We'll see one of those places here and have a cup of beer, a drink. So now we're on the corner of Chicago Avenue and Rush Street. This is Rush Street and Chicago Avenue.
try to cross the street now that nobody's coming. All right. Next street, we're back on. Uh, we're back on uh, Michigan Avenue. Then we're gonna be ending this video shortly, probably, probably in five minutes. We'll make it a one hour and thirty minute video. So we started the video from uh, the lakefront. We went. Uh, we went south on the lake lakefront uh, trail. And then we took the Oak Street uh, Beach underpass to Michigan Avenue. And then we took Michigan Avenue all the way to Jackson, I believe. I don't remember now. We have to go look at the video. And, uh, and went all the way around. And this is going to be a one hour, 30 minute video, ladies and gentlemen. We have another four minutes to, uh, four minutes to end this video. I'm going to try to cross the street. I got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I think I made it. Nobody's coming. All right, let's go straight on East Chicago Avenue. We have a few more minutes left. I hope you all enjoy the video. Again, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the Chris Presents Presents YouTube channel, and try not to skip the ads before, during, and after the video. I'll show you now the, the John Hawk Center and the Water Tower Place residences next to each other. What a beautiful picture this is. Look at that. The John Hawk Center is the one on the left. All right. And then you got more, more high rises on this side. That's That's 151 East Chicago Avenue. Look at this building, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. All the way up in the sky. And then right over here, you have the Chicago Dental, not the Chicago, the American Dental Association headquarters on Chicago Avenue in downtown Chicago. It's pretty well. And take a look at this building. Look at that. Wow. And this is the fire station on Glance 11. Beautiful, beautiful fire station. And you've got an ambulance right in, uh, in front of it. And then you have Lewis Children's Hospital next door. Across the street, uh, it's a high rise hospital, the number one. Children's Hospital in Illinois, rated by U.S. News and World Report, and the number one and, and one of the best children's hospital, not only in the nation but in the world. And we're gonna end the video right on the corner of Mice Vice Mice Wanderoha Way and East Chicago Avenue, right in front of the Museum of Contemporary Art, another beautiful modern structure there of a modern museum in Streetville in downtown Chicago I'm gonna take a picture here and end the video right over here okay we'll go a little bit further down This is Seneca Park right on the left here. All right, we're taking a picture of the Museum of Contemporary Art. And thank you everybody for watching.